Yazerskis! Look at that! What is up, my dudes? This is Yardbrun. You're tuning into another episode of my lawn. Uh, yes, sir. We are gonna open up these packages. They are in the way. Let's see what's inside. Ha! Some of these companies haven't paid. <laughs> We're not gonna show off what they haven't paid for. You can't just send me free product and expect me to do a video for free. Oh my goodness gracious. Parts Warehouse. The bolts for the conversion. Yeah, this is Parts Warehouse 2. We know what these are. We've been waiting for these for months. Hopefully you guys got yours. Conversion parts for LM2100SP. Let's just put it all together. And then we decide to do that. We have waited seasons for this guy. Awesome. I've been waiting for this striper kit for so long. It has been sitting here. The Ego striping kit for 21 inch walk behind mowers. Finally, Ego has come out with their own striper kit and we have it here. Let's install it. Easy peasy, take off the wheels. Once you take off the wheels, you're gonna have to go ahead and unscrew this dust shield. They provided you with another dust shield that won't get in the way of the actual striper once you connect it. So, all this right here, very simple, just a Phillips head screwdriver, and you're good to go. Oh my goodness, it is so simple. It is so simple and easy. It's way easier. Now, you know we have the Checkmate. Checkmate striper kit right it's a little heavy it's a little clunky if you turn on the grass it can definitely eat up the grass like literally like dig into the the soil and this here seems very very agile <laughs> it seems like it's very maneuverable I like it. and it's sleek 
It is very sleek. It is a little heavy, which is good, which is a good thing, so. Now, can she stripe? We are putting this on the LM2100 non-self-propelled. This is the first Ego Mower that I've purchased. The workhorse with the dual blade conversion. Amazing. Do you see how easy it is to maneuver? It is like butter. It is so easy. This striper kit, oh, Ego, good job. Good job. It is sleek. It is amazing. The checkmate, I had to keep taking off and on, and that's super inconvenient. Like, don't get me wrong. We're not talking about if one or the other stripes better. We know both of them stripe. But how about the convenience of it? Like, check this out. I don't stripe the sidewalk strips, right? Boom. Take it off. Go to town. <laughs> really? That simple? That easy and simple. Every, every roller kit should be like this. Just attach it, take it off. <laughs> and, you know, I didn't even test it. But the bag, having the bag on there as well, so you can bag and get some stripes oh my goodness this is this is amazing this is such an amazing add-on ego good job and look at the grass why i mean the grass i mean yeah we've been we've been doing a little work and i figured it out guys i totally forgot i've been spacing i just been i just got too much stuff in my head those major brown spots i'm i believe those are, that's poa anua dying that's poa anua Nomoa. <laughs> it's literally turning brown from the from the Progress EC. We are totally forgetting that we just did some pre-emergence. So we did some tenacity. We did some Progress EC. And it's killing everything. So when temperatures hit 50 degrees, the soil temperatures, you better believe I'm going to get out there and do a quick overseed. Because you know we're going to renovate later in this year. But for now, it's going to be a nice little overseed, uh, some perennial rye. I don't know what kind yet. Probably just some Scots. Just to, you know, show off that we can still plant cheap seed <laughs> before we plant the expensive stuff from Twin City Seed. But guys, oh, it is looking fantastic. The rain has helped. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. I know we're, we're inching close. We're inching closer and closer and closer. That's why I'm just, you know, rocking the, the ego. And, you know, honestly, this was just going to be uh, open packages up and mow real quick. But the striping kit, ego striping kit was here. We had to, we had to kind of semi-review it. So, yes, my dudes. And then, I told you, last, last, uh, last season, unsubscribe if I don't have one of these. Boom. Whoopa. Hello, Pete Moss Fredder. <laughs> Finally, like, man, we have been hand applying the Pete Moss. It is itchy. It is inconvenient. This is going to be fantastic. This is going to be a wonderful. Wallonies? I didn't get the other one. This one was only 170 bucks. Link in the description below. <laughs> I can't wait to test this thing out. Maybe, you know, maybe in a month. When we overseed, we're definitely gonna use it. And I just can't wait to get some peat moss. Oh, it's gonna be fantabulous. Yeah, I'm saving the edging for later because it's a little muddy. It's a kind of muddy. It's not quite dry as we want everything to be. You know, we, we need this rain. We need this grass to, to get some color, get, get back to vibrant and, and living. 
we don't want dormant action and uh, all the products are definitely working so that's good nice little update for you guys yeah we'll, we'll figure something out this week and I got a surprise for you guys coming up here in the next couple weeks stay tuned you don't want to miss the epicness that's about to happen you guys are the best we'll catch you on the next video take it easy It's been sitting there for months, Dad. Yeah. I don't know my yeah. Peat moss spreader. Oh. We don't have to hand do it anymore. That's nice. You put it in here mm -hmm. and it just spreads it out. Nice, huh?